morning everyone it is thursday i am just now picking up the camera since we've been back we got back on monday afternoon and at first i wasn't going to vlog because i'm like well i have this footage from when we were in la so i just wanted to get that up and then start fresh take a break then savannah was like well mom you don't vlog enough as it is so why don't you just vlog and you'd be ahead of the game so anyway here i am vlogging um, like I said, it's Thursday and I'm actually editing the second vlog, the day we went to the beach and then the day we went to Long Beach, um, to the aquarium there. So I'm just doing that and, oh, let me show you guys where I put my shot glasses. Well, I'm sure you guys know. But so as I already knew, this right here would not fit in one of these little cubbies. So I just put it up there. And then this is my Hollywood Walk of Fame one. And then this is my one that says Hollywood. Um, okay, hold on y'all. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am so paranoid. So I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I guess back here, let's see. It's a little bit cracked and it could have gotten that way in transit but when i touched it from this angle it looked like a spider so that's the reason why i jumped but yeah i'm y'all know y'all already know anyway so i have one two three four five more spots for shot glasses and then I'm saying when because you guys know I do like to go places even though I haven't gone a lot of places lately. Anyway, so then I'll just get another one, preferably with a glass this time, and then put it over there. That way I can start a new collection. So yeah, here's where I put my shot glasses. Our luggage is still right here. And normally we wouldn't have packed suitcases just to go to LA. We packed because we actually thought at the time we were going to go to Louisiana. So that's the reason why we had actual suitcases. Because when I go to my mom's house, I just pack like, not an overnight bag, but because I usually stay longer than one night. But I don't know, just like a duffel bag full of stuff or a tote or something like that. I unpacked our laundry and I got to put those luggage actually in the closet. And you guys, I'm so excited. So apparently these things are hard to find because they're popular now, but I went to Costco and they were out. They actually, well, I, I take that back. They had a three-in-one air flyer, flyer. They had a three-in-one air fryer and I guess it was a toaster oven and something else. But I, my kitchen is not huge. I don't have a whole lot of counter space. That's why I put my toaster back in the cabinet, Edna, when I am, um, done using it in one of Edna's live I think someone asked if you put your toaster if you leave it on the counter or put it away so that's where that came from anyway so because I don't have a whole lot of space on my countertop I put certain things away when they're not in use so that's the reason why I didn't get that so I know I could have ordered it from Amazon or whatever but the way I am with things you guys when I decide I want it I want it like, I want to go to the store, physically pay for it, and get it. So, I couldn't find, I went to three different Costco's. I couldn't find the Cuisinart, Cuisinart brand, is that what you call it? Cuisinart. I couldn't find that brand. And then there's one by Nutribullet, I think. So, I wanted to get, like, the higher quality one couldn't find it so i just went to target and i ended up getting an air fryer and i got my son and his wife y'all telling you every time i say that still hasn't sunk in so anything that i say with Tariq married or Tariq and his wife it's like blows their mind because i just i'm not used to it yet eventually i will be but Today I'm not. <laughs> so every time I say it, it's just like I have to stop and say something. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my air fryer and Tariq got the same exact one, but they don't know it yet. And they're actually gonna come over this weekend and pick it up, but I'll show you guys. So ignore my kitchen, it's a bit of a mess, but I will plug this in to show you guys. I haven't used it yet. So I'm really not sure, come on. Okay, <laughs> so I haven't used it yet, 
so I'm really not sure exactly how whatever I do have the books so the different setting like french fries fish looks like a cake to me <laughs> shrimp chicken steak looks like vegetables I don't know and then temperature and then the time so yeah that's it right here and here is the basket and then this part lifts up I guess that way the bottom can collect the grease that drips I cannot do this with one hand so anyway you guys get it well, this is the brand right here power XL as seen on TV vortex air fryer and I know this is not the name brand one but y'all I don't care if it's name brand or not these things are not cheap at all and this was mine and this is Tariq's and Annie's right there when they come I don't know if I showed you guys this if I did just nod your head and smile <laughs> anyway so this you guys I know I'm not into Ray Dunn anymore like I used to be but I found this at Home Goods when they opened back up and this was I think 17 or 18 dollars <laughs> people were selling this on Macari this cookie jar this ceramic cookie jar that's very inexpensive they were selling this for $300 because it was so hard to get there was no way I was paying $300 for a piece of ceramic even though I absolutely love it some people don't get the hype okay I get that but I like it so oh well anyway so I waited and waited and I bought it mainly because this was one of her most items that you couldn't find so this one we actually will be using for cookies unlike I have the Ray Dunn's over here and ignore my kitchen I still have to clean it up I'm editing still so that's the reason why I have stuff on my countertop so these are not used these this is strictly decorations over here as well then I have my Ray Dunn stuff over here and of course I have my Ray Dunn mugs and bowls that I actually use okay I think I did forget to show you guys something I'm actually excited about this so I feel like I showed you guys this because I'm getting a deja vu feeling but I don't think I have I don't know anyway so I also got some Ray Dunn silverware and I got three of them which is the same like two spoons of butter knife and two forks um, I was looking for a fourth one so I can have a set of four but I only found three so yeah and it just says savor taste delish enjoy and yum so yeah I got that and then maybe if I go back or when I go back to look for them I can find another one so maybe I didn't show you guys this I don't know anyway but I need to take them out so I can wash them and put them in the drawer and yes we will actually use these so I also got some new measuring cups and measuring spoons because our old ones look like this so it was definitely time so you guys my bag supply is full once again so it's just like a joke on the black community that we use those bags for everything and we basically do I, I know I do I use them for garbage bags and just random things around the house when they made it to where you buy the bags I bought bags here and there but I mainly bought the reusable bags so that's what I had but then my supply in my little cubby there was going down because I use them for trash bags in the bathroom and just like I said random things around the house but now because of COVID certain stores didn't want you bringing your own bags in so they brought out the really thin ones again the kind that you didn't have to pay for and that's what I have now some stores are starting to make you pay for them again this is my lunch breakfast and lunch so I guess my brunch <laughs> so some garlic shrimp and these wraps from Costco this is from Costco also I took the tomatoes out because I don't like tomatoes you guys and that's just me so that's my brunch
Brücken zu Hamilton. Good morning. It is the next day and I fell asleep last night. Well, I didn't fall asleep watching Hamilton, but we watched Hamilton for like the third time. If you guys have not seen it on Disney Plus, you got to see it. I know I personally would have loved to see it live and I think a viewer, Lala, she actually seen it um, when they were touring or something like that. So yeah, I would have loved to see that anyway um like i said if you haven't seen it check it out disney plus yeah so you guys are probably gonna cringe right now because i'm going to attempt to use my air fryer for the first time and i'm pretty sure you you can warm up foods in it also i'm going to attempt to warm up wontons so i got these fully cooked um, wontons and did I get these from Costco I don't remember I don't know so anyway I'm going to put a few in here and I sprayed it with non-stick cooking spray I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not so we shall see you guys uh, if you're cringing and thinking oh my goodness what is she doing I am too oh my goodness these are smudge smudge these are much smaller than the other ones we normally get these are tiny okay i'm so silly it says right there bite-sized wontons okay let's try this again <laughs> you guys i don't know what's going on in my head but this is the third time i've attempted to vlog what i'm going to say and each time i didn't press the record button anyway i have the pot stickers in here and it's for 370 and it was for 14 for 15 minutes so we shall see and it's I'm just trying to fill out fill where the heat is coming out it's coming out in the back and if you wonder why it's in a random spot on my kitchen countertop is because when we are not using this I'm going to put it away and what I was trying to tell you guys is I washed my Ray Dunn silverware by hand I'm pretty sure I can put it in the dishwasher however the box said hand washing is recommended but I'm pretty sure this ceramic right here is made from the same stuff that her other products are so yeah I washed all that by hand and also my measuring cups and then I'll just put it away later but yeah you guys I'm a little concerned about this I know you can open it and check but I don't want to open it right now because it's only been in like three minutes This just amazes me. Okay. So I have everything all put away. And yeah. And if you're wondering why we have a set of keys there, it's because my neighbor whose house that we watch when she goes on vacation, I just keep the keys in there. That way not one of us are carrying it around on our person. That way if any one of us needs to go over there, if there's an emergency or she tells us to go there, everyone knows where to find it. So anyway, um, yep, that's my spoon setup. Let's check this out. Um, maybe I should open it. Let's see. Can I do this with one hand? <gasps> Ooh. They are crispy. Um, should I turn them? Hold on. So maybe I should, maybe I should turn them. Some of them are still sticking together. Like they're frozen, so. Okay, I need both my hands, you guys, hold on. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. I flipped them over and I put it back in and it started right back up. You guys, I am loving this. I actually wish Ignore my counter because I need to clean everything up. I actually wish I had space on my counter for this. This is one thing I would actually leave up. Okay, so I took them out. They're done. Um, little crispy right there, but not burnt. I actually tasted one. They taste really good, you guys. I'm not going to eat them all. I'm going to give half to Savannah. Okay, so this is my 
brunch. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but Ray Dunn, of course, and it's a, I think it's a pasta bowl. She does have large size plates, but I've only seen them in the color black with the white writing, but I want white bowls, the same color as this, so if I do see those, I will get that. This is my Ray Dunn bowl for my lunch, and I just added a few shrimp, and yeah. It is so much later, you guys. I had a movie day. I'm now watching The Color Purple, but I watched Dirty Dancing, and I watched Footloose, and a bunch of YouTube movies, but I've just been sitting here and doing a whole lot of nothing. Mm -hmm.